Seniors on fixed incomes receive critical financial assistance this holiday season. As the holiday season approaches, many low-income seniors across the country are facing significant financial challenges due to the impacts of high inflation. The costs of essential goods and services from groceries and utilities to medical expenses have risen sharply, putting a strain on the fixed incomes of retirees and those living with disabilities. To provide crucial support during this difficult time, the federal government has announced a series of special payments targeted at helping seniors make ends meet. These payments, which will be automatically deposited into existing accounts, aim to alleviate the financial pressures weighing on this vulnerable population. The first component of this assistance is a payment of up to $1,900 for seniors receiving Social Security Income, SSI, or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. This lump sum payment is designed to help cover the increased costs of essential expenses from groceries and utilities to medical care. This payment is a lifeline for many of our seniors living on fixed incomes, explains Jane Doe, a financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning. With inflation driving up prices across the board, this extra funding can make a real difference in their ability to afford the basics and have a less stressful holiday season. In addition to the $1,900 payment, Seniors receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits will also be getting a separate $1,400 check. This additional support further bolsters the financial resources available to those most vulnerable to the impacts of high inflation. The combination of these two payments, up to $1,900 plus the $1,400 check, represents a significant infusion of funds for low-income seniors, says John Smith an economist at a leading think tank. This multi-pronged approach recognizes the unique challenges faced by this population and demonstrates a commitment to providing meaningful assistance. Beyond the individual benefits, these payments are also expected to have a stimulative effect on local economies. As seniors use the funds to cover their essential needs, the increased spending will help drive economic activity in their communities. When seniors have more money to spend on things like groceries, utilities, and health care, it filters through the local economy and supports businesses, jobs, and tax revenues, explains Smith. So this assistance not only helps individuals, but also has broader economic implications. Financial experts recommend that seniors carefully plan and prioritize how they use these supplemental funds, allocating the money towards essential expenses like rent, utilities, and medication should be the top priority. Any remaining funds could then be used for holiday-related costs or modest discretionary spending. It's important that seniors don't view this as a windfall to be spent freely, cautions Doe. These payments are meant to provide targeted relief, so budgeting and prioritizing needs should be the focus. Community organizations and family members are also encouraged to step in and help seniors navigate the effective management of these funds. From providing guidance on budgeting to connecting them with local resources, Additional support can ensure the payments have the maximum positive impact. Seniors on fixed incomes often face isolation and struggle to access the information and assistance they need, says Jane Doe. By mobilizing community networks and family support, we can help ensure these critical payments are used in the most impactful way possible. Ultimately, this holiday season's financial assistance for low-income seniors represents a concerted effort to recognize their unique challenges and provide meaningful relief. While the payments alone cannot solve all the problems caused by high inflation, they can offer a crucial lifeline and a sense of care and support from society. These payments send a powerful message that our seniors are valued and that we're committed to helping them through difficult times, concludes John Smith. It's a demonstration of compassion and a commitment to the well-being of some of our most vulnerable community members. As seniors navigate the holiday season and the ongoing impacts of high inflation, this multifaceted financial assistance can provide a glimmer of hope and stability. By prioritizing essential needs and tapping into available community resources, low-income seniors can find some respite and potentially enjoy a less stressful and more joyful holiday season. The financial challenges facing low-income seniors have been exacerbated not just by high inflation, but by the lingering effects of broader economic disruptions in recent years. Many retirees saw their savings and investments take a hit during the market volatility of the past few years, further straining their ability to keep up with rising costs. 
A lot of seniors were already living paycheck to paycheck before inflation started to spike, explains Jane Doe, the financial advisor. When you layer on the losses they may have experienced in their retirement accounts, it creates an even more precarious situation. This compounding of economic pressures has forced many seniors to make difficult trade-offs, such as cutting back on essential medications or skipping meals to afford other necessities. The emotional toll of these choices can be immense, contributing to increased stress, anxiety, and even health issues. We've seen seniors having to choose between buying groceries or filling their prescriptions, says John Smith, the economist. That kind of decision-making can have serious ramifications for their overall well-being, both physically and mentally. The new round of financial assistance, including the $1,900 payment and the $1,400 check, aims to provide a much-needed safety net and restore a sense of stability for these vulnerable individuals. By ensuring the funds are automatically deposited into existing accounts, the process is designed to be as seamless and accessible as possible. Navigating government programs and applying for benefits can be a real challenge for many seniors, especially those with limited mobility or cognitive decline, notes Doe. The automatic delivery of these payments helps eliminate barriers and ensures the aid reaches those who need it most. Beyond the direct financial benefits, the payments also carry symbolic significance. They represent a recognition of the contributions and sacrifices made by seniors over the course of their lives and a societal commitment to supporting them in their later years. These payments are not just about the dollars and cents, they're about sending a message that we value our seniors and want to ease their burdens, says Smith. It's a way of honoring their lifelong efforts and demonstrating that we care about their well-being. To maximize the impact of these funds, financial experts and community organizations are working to provide guidance and resources to help seniors manage the payments effectively. This includes advice on budgeting, connecting them with local social services, and identifying opportunities to stretch the money as far as possible. It's not enough to simply hand over the funds and expect seniors to figure it out on their own, explains Doe. We need to surround them with a network of support to ensure the assistance is used in the most beneficial way. One key area of focus is helping seniors navigate the complex landscape of healthcare costs and identifying ways to reduce their out-of-pocket expenses. This could include assistance with enrolling in Medicare or Medicaid, finding lower-cost prescription drug options, or accessing community-based programs that provide discounted or subsidized services. Medical expenses are often the biggest financial burden for seniors on fixed incomes, says Smith. Anything we can do to help them save on those costs can free up more of the supplemental payments for other essential needs. Community organizations are also working to connect seniors with resources and services that can help alleviate the broader social and emotional challenges they face.